just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. So good morning everyone. It is Tuesday and I pulled my car out of the garage because my garage, the sensor isn't working again. So I have to back it out, come in, hold it down, and then go out through the front. Annoying. So what I need to do is find someone who really knows how to fix it instead of getting these little handy persons, <laughs> handy men to come and just like, Put a band-aid on the problem. Oops, you guys are crooked. Put a band-aid on the problem and it ends up still, you know, not working correctly. I probably need a whole new garage or motor. I don't know, but I think I need to step it up and call actual company who comes out and deals with these type of things. Did I say it was Tuesday? Um just setting the alarm. Everyone's gone except for Tariq. He probably works a little bit later. Uh, I'm so tired, you guys. Where's my phone? Oh, thought I left my phone in the house. Have you guys ever done that? I mean, we become so dependent on technology. The few times I've ever left my phone at home, gotta go back and get it. I think I scratched myself in the middle of the night. I felt like a, I felt, I felt like a scar right there. It's a tiny little scar. Okay, why did I grab my phone anyway? I don't know. It's 8.33, have to be to work at nine. And I'm one of those weird type of people that, so I like to leave the house 30 minutes exactly from the point the time that I start work so I should at least be three minutes down the road by now but I'm not and I won't be late or anything as long as I don't stay here and play forever um, and yes I'm one of those type of people who I don't put songs on my phone I guess my kids call me old whatever but I don't want it taking up space so I have an iPod you guys yes I have an iPod that I keep all of my songs on and yeah, I don't like to put it on my phone. Let's see. What are you gonna listen to? Torn Wells. Christian artist, of course. Okay, let me pause it. Didn't vlog yesterday. What did I do? So yesterday I went to get my blood drawn because you guys know every once in a while I have to do that because they just want to make sure my thyroid levels are fine my what is that iron levels my calcium levels and they check my hemocrat and hemoglobin just for other stuff I guess I don't know whatever so yeah just want to make sure I'm doing okay did that yesterday and it was actually a perfect time to go because I walked in, it took me longer to actually park my car and walk into the hospital than it did to get called. Because as soon as I got there, there was no one in there and I got called right up to the window. The labs were already waiting. And then I went on the other side and then like within three minutes, my number was called. So the whole process was really quick and painless. So I don't know why I'm telling you guys that. Can you update on what I've been doing? All right, but now I better go to work. Get some heat on, cause it's a little bit chilly. It rained last night too, so. All right, guys. Thought that was Cheyenne coming back. The car almost just like hers. All right, let's go. 
Okay, so one hour and 43 minutes remaining. This is crazy. It said two hours when I uploaded it and the video's not even that long. Our Wi-Fi sucks. Wi-Fi sucks, Cheyenne. Yeah, and if it'll focus, I am watching Young and Hungry. And even though I've seen every episode, I'm watching it again because I just like it. So, yeah, but I'm waiting for the video to upload. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh my goodness, she's going through pictures of them and also of me before I started going to church, <laughs> back to church, and then of them when they were younger. You may find some crazy pictures in there. If she, yeah, if she does, I will show you guys. Yes, I will show you guys what I look like when I was younger. Okay, you guys, I can't believe I'm showing you this. <laughs> yes, this is me before I had kids. Y'all, if y'all don't know nothing about one hour photo, I was a one hour photo queen, always. Look at this. Oh my goodness, I thought I was the bomb. They used to call me the boot lady because I always had on boots. Look at this. Okay, and here is another picture of me. Look how young I was. Oh my goodness, I think I had to be at least 20 or 21 in this picture. Oh my lanta. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I thought I was the bomb back then. Look at my haircut, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, they're going through old pictures of all of us, and we are sitting here cracking up. Savannah found my old cap. And it's faded. It was supposed to be blue. Well, it was blue, but it looks purple. Bro, Jostens was around back then? Oh my goodness, you guys. Can you guess who this is? This is me. I think I was five in this picture and maybe about seven or eight in this one. Oh my goodness, look how my mom did my hair. <laughs> look at that. Y'all, it's late and I know I need to go to bed, but I just wanted to show you guys. Here is a picture of my dad. He, yes, he was a police officer in Louisiana, and someone took this picture of him, and look at his smile. Look at his face. I look just like him, you guys. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, finally. Um, I only work five hours today. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm so tired. Um, I got to bed early, but then I woke up maybe around one, and I couldn't go back to sleep for like an hour. I don't know, weirdest thing. It is so cold, you guys. So the forecast <laughs> is supposed to be good weather this weekend. So we'll see. Yeah, they're not in control anyway, God knows. All right, you guys, I'm going to get to work, knock these five hours out, come home and probably take a nap. Yes, I'm going to take a nap. Hello everyone, so I am home from work finally. I am just making my lunch. So when I pulled into my garage, the next door neighbor to my left, if you're in the house facing the street, um, she's a really nice lady and I know I told you guys about her before. We watch her house when she's on vacation. She checks our mail when we're on vacation, stuff like that. So. I tried to hurry up and pull into the house because she's super nice, but anytime you talk to her, it's a guaranteed 20, 30 minute conversation. No matter what you try to do, oh, I'm just going to do this, or I just came back from a long trip. One time I just came back from Southern California after driving five hours, pulled into the garage and she said, oh, you guys wasn't home this weekend. I said, yeah, I just drove five hours. She didn't care. She just talked me to death and I get it that, hold on you guys. So I came into the house, I heard we came into the house, closed the garage door. I needed to throw some garbage out and I'm like, okay, I'll give her a little bit of time. Maybe she'll do what she has to do, get in the car and leave or go back into the house. So the way my house is set up, I cannot see her driveway, like where her garage is from the front. So grab my garbage and I go outside and her back is to me. So I was able to get the garbage in and without her seeing me, then she turned around. She, she was about to mow her yard and she turned around. Oh, hi. And she left her lawnmower running. She talked to me for like 20 minutes about her haircut and her next vacation and what else? How things at my job. <clears throat> 
and you know I don't want to be mean she's old enough to be my grandmother so I'm not gonna be rude to her or anything like that but it's just funny because even my kids will sometimes try to avoid her I don't mind talking to her at all I know it sounds like I do I don't but just sometimes I just need to get done what I need to get done but she will hold you up and carry on the conversation and tell you about everything in her life. I'm so excited. So Santa Clarita Diet, the third season is out on Netflix and I'm going to watch it right now. I know some of you watch it. I know some of you think it's pretty gross. Yeah, it is whatever, but I think it's pretty cool. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday. No, it's not. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so tired. It is Wednesday, my early day and I have not picked up the camera, you guys, literally in like almost a week. I'm gonna try to do better. I keep saying that I know and then things happen, circumstances arise, and then I don't pick the camera up. I always have it with me, it's always with me, usually. But yeah, I don't know you guys, I'll try to do better. Um, anyway, what was I saying? I'm on my way to work. I'm going to leave a little bit early today because I am going to go to, oh my goodness, I can't even think, I'm so tired. What is that place to get coffee? Dutch Brothers, because I just am, because I need it today. Men's Bible study is here tonight. So after work, I will go to Winco and get things for um, the Bible study tonight. Um, the house is already clean, so I'll just come home and straighten up. Sometimes on the way to work, I will listen to preaching, and I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. I mean, that shouldn't surprise you or anything, but... Um, I just love a preacher. His name is Josh Herring. You guys can find him on YouTube. I'll show you guys who I'm talking about. Um, let me find one of his. Because it's not like a channel that I can subscribe to. I just type in his name and he'll pop up because he's an evangelist and he goes all over the country preaching. And I don't know, something about his preaching just I just love I seen him for the first time in Stockton which we go to sometimes and so I just fell in love with his type of preaching so his like I said his name is Josh Herring All right that's what he looks like so yeah this message is called the essential the essential key of sacrificial giving so these different churches um, that he goes to Whoever has a YouTube channel or the church will put up, um, see, there's just a bunch of him preaching. Um, I guess he's doing a revival now at one church that's in Texas, I think, something like that. Dallas. Yeah, it is in Texas. So, yeah, he has a lot on here. So, I usually just pick one and... With preaching, you don't have to look at it, and I flip my phone upside down so I won't be tempted to look at it, and I go on about my business. And I think that's what I'm going to do today. Let's pick one, let's see. This one is 26 minutes. It is called, Your Miracle Is Here Today. All right. Shall we start that one? And then get going. I still have to go to Dutch Brothers. I'll let you listen to a little bit. We preach, Holy Ghost is going to fall in this building. Acts 2, verse 1 through 4. Okay. 16 through 18, 37 to 39. Let's go. So we are at the movie theaters. We are about to see us. And it's just me and the girls. Tariq is at men's bible study and it's actually at my house tonight so yeah i've been waiting to see this movie for a while so i'm so excited okay y'all so we are home it's actually late i'm going to go to bed but we seen the movie us and i was like almost completely confused i don't want to say anything to spoil it in case you guys have not seen it good morning everyone it is thursday I cannot wait till this week is over I'm so tired. I'm tired of waking up early. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm just tired. So, did I say today's Thursday? <laughs> On my way to work pretty soon here. Tonight is women's Bible study. Because I told you guys it changed to Thursday nights. And it's here. It was just here last night for the men. And now it's here for the women. So, 
I will be getting stuff after work. I said I wanted to update you guys on how things were going at work. There's a lot going on at my work, you guys. I mean, I just, I can't go into detail about everything right now, just in case for some reason they find this video and then they hear and when you got, when I tell you guys, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's crazy. Yeah, and I'm getting my hair done finally tomorrow after work. I only work five hours on Friday, so um, tomorrow at work at four, actually, I will be getting my hair done. I'm so happy. I'm so tired of this <laughs> hair. So, yeah, that's the only thing right now. Okay, bye. I am freezing. It is so cold out here. All right, so I am going to pick another sermon of Josh Herring to listen to. I follow his wife on Instagram, you guys. They have three kids, two boys and a girl, and their daughter is the cutest thing ever. I'm just picking something I can listen to on the way to work. Most of these have red on it. On your phone, when you watch the video, it has red across it, so most of these have already been watched. I usually try to find something that I can listen to fully before I get to work. That way I won't have to leave in the middle of um, one of the videos. Hello everyone, so I am at home. Ladies Bible Study is here. And I went to Winco and got stuff to make lasagna. It's actually in the oven. I'll show you guys in a second. But I did want to let you guys know, I'm so excited because tomorrow after work, I finally get my hair done. Um, I just waited so long to get it done because, I don't know, I just, I just did. I don't know why, even though I complained that I don't like how my hair looks. So whatever, I don't know. What I didn't tell you guys yet, thought someone was coming in. Oh, Savannah's here with me also. She's home from school. Okay, so what I didn't tell you guys because I was a little bit upset, like a lot, but so we got new phones me and Savannah. We wanted the XS Max, but the down payment is 390 something, which total would have been like 460 for each of us. So I don't have that type of money right now. So we, it was funny because we always talked about the XR, like called Cheyenne, just teasing her saying that she had the ghetto iPhone and the poor people's iPhone. But anyway, we ended up getting the XR only for now. And I got the white one, Savannah got the black one. And I got a case for it also, but let me tell you guys my little rant, okay? So when I went in, um, the guy said, oh, the XR, it's free. Um, well, not free, okay, I take that back. It's not, it's not free. It's no money down, right? But we have this special where you get a cover for your phone, the screen protector, and wireless beats. And I said, you get all that? And he said, yes. And I said it like two or three times. I said, all of it's free. I don't have to pay for it. You don't have to pay for it. So he told me this and I'm thinking, that's kind of weird because everything with T-Mobile, you usually have to pay for or get it financed and pay for a little bit every month. So I'm excited. Savannah's happy. Out the door for our phones, I paid like 44 bucks. So with taxes, maybe 50 or something like that. Got excited, got happy. Maybe like two days later, I was talking to Melissa. And you know, Ariel, her husband works for T-Mobile. And she's like, wait a minute, that dude lied to you. And I said, what? So I explained her everything that went on and I actually had Ariel check my account. And yep, guess what? Dude lied to me. I was so mad, so upset. And I'm actually going to take everything back to the store, get him in trouble because he lied to me. He had me under the impression that everything else was free. Their screen protectors alone are expensive. We usually just go to the accessory store or even to get our phone cases. So yeah. But we did get the XR and I should have did like a unboxing, but I didn't. But I did get a Kate Spade um, phone case. I really like it, you guys. Look at that. Pretty cool. Okay, so you see that little spade on the back? I'm going to tell y'all a story. When I seen it before I ordered it, because I got it off the app Macari, and I seen it, and I'm like, why am I getting that? I mean, it's cute and everything, but I don't play cards because I was like the spades on the back. Then I started thinking, I'm like, Michelle, you're dumb. Her name is Kate Spade. That's why there's a spade on there. 
yeah, I felt totally stupid. So, but anyway, this is this is my new phone case and my new phone, the XR, and I am going to eventually upgrade in Savannah also to the XS Max. I just don't want to put out the money for it right now. So until then, this is what I got. And the phone's actually not that bad. What do you think? Are you liking your phone still? She said, mm-hmm. She's all up into her phone ignoring me. Hello, everyone. It is Friday. I am at home. Um, that's my alarm arming, in case you were wondering. So anyway, I'm just getting my hair, because we always keep extra hair here at the house, because you guys know we get our hair braided. So I'm just getting this ready because I'm going to get my hair done today, you guys. Finally, this is going to be over. Don't need the glue. So I need to hurry up and wash my hair and blow dry it and get something to eat. Well, not get something to eat, but eat here at home. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. And I need to go wash my hair. I just said that. And I never show you guys what my hair looks like because I don't have any chemicals in my hair, like a relax or anything like that. So I never show you guys what my hair looks like after I wash it because it's just Afro, power to the people. Yeah, and it's just not a pretty look on me. So I don't let you guys see me like that. Although this is pretty bad right here. So, all right, let me wash my hair. And then the next time you guys will probably see me, I will probably have my hair done. Okay, y'all, <laughs> I got my do-rag on my do-rag my bandana on and I know I told you guys next time you see me I would have my hair done but I just wanted to update you guys on a few things my old job when I called the boss the big boss because he was the owner of all 10 practices well I'll tell you guys something about that in a minute because I heard from an old co-worker that it's a mess over there now hope you guys don't fall okay my new job now Okay, no job is not going to be perfect. You're not going to get along with everyone, you know, so I know this. In spite of everything that's going on, I'm still happy where I am because I just feel that it's the place for me. And I wish I could tell you guys stuff that I know, but on the small chance, the slight chance that they might find this video, I don't want to say anything before the time comes. So the place where I'm at now I'm not gonna call him the big boss because when I say the big boss, it reminds me of my old boss and no one can stand him. Anyway, it's the owner doc. He's an actual doctor. The big boss at my old job, he wasn't a doctor. He was just, he used to be an engineer and his wife was a doctor. Anyway, so if, I, if this is confusing, I'm so sorry. My boss now, let's give him a name, you guys. So Dr. Dr. Gray. <laughs> Let's just say Dr. Gray because I like Gray's Anatomy, right? Okay, so Dr. Gray actually owns three practices. The one that I'm at, the one that he mainly works out of, and another one in another city. And I'm not going to say what city that is. And he is in the process of selling the one in the other city because he said owning one business is a lot owning two is like almost stressful and I can only imagine so anyway when I got hired on okay let me back up a little bit so the office that I'm at now he purchased the practice maybe like three months before I got there because the two doctors who are at my office now both of those doctors are retiring so by the end of the year they're going to be gone they're just trying to finish up cases still see patients and get them used to the ideal that hey there's going to be another doctor here so that's the reason why dr gray bought this practice where i'm at so this practice where i am i think i told you guys it's like in the 1970s everything is still old they still have paper charts they don't take digital x-rays. I mean, everything is old school. And I think I told you guys that we still write in on a time card. A time card. This old thing. You guys remember this? Yeah. We still mark our time on that in this office. But that is actually changing. So, anyway, he told them when he bought the practice, when Dr. Gray bought 
the place where I am now he said I'm not gonna make any major changes right away it's gonna be slowly but I am going to update the office and get pretty much get them up with the times so I haven't worked with dr. gray a lot but from what I heard from what they say about him at the other office he is actually a nice guy a really nice guy he's high maintenance when it comes to his work he's a good doctor I would trust him with anything in my mouth um, from what I hear and from what I seen the little that I seen he's high maintenance but he kind of expects a lot of his staff no I won't even say that okay well maybe he expects a lot but he's fair he is honest which is a good thing for a dentist he's fair he's honest and he will bend over backwards backwards for you so that's what I heard about him in the beginning and now I'm starting to see that so because the office where I am now they are upset because number one the two doctors are retiring which come on they're in their 70s or late 60s okay they deserve retirement and they don't want things to change they want to keep the old you know way they've been doing things and they always they fight the doc they fight dr gray tooth and nail about everything well why can't we keep it this this is the way we always did it before ladies get it through your head dr gray owns the practice now not the other doctors who work there so with that being said the doctor's installing computers in each of the rooms so they could take digital x-rays and to bring these people up into this century, right? They are fighting them tooth and nail and it's not even that he's trying to do anything bad. He's not. They are, they just, they're just complaining. They're talking about him like he's a dog and granted not everyone there feels this way and I know that for a fact because I had a conversation with one of the assistants in the back and they treat her like garbage I don't know why she's a wonderful assistant the patients love her so I can kind of tell she's kind of like me when they're talking and yapping and blah, 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 you know running their mouth I'm quiet and I'm like you know what? I'm not having no part of what you guys are doing and I need to get going here soon but I need to turn my directions on I'm getting my hair done by the same girl who normally does my hair but she is no longer in the shop anymore because I guess her and the other her and the owner had a falling out. Where is my maps? I had to get out of my neighborhood first before I pulled the camera back on, back up. Anyways, what was I saying? So they don't like the new doctor, mainly because they don't like change. They don't want change. They want everything to stay the same. And like I said, he's just trying to bring them into this decade. He's not even, he didn't dock their pay. He didn't dock their hours. I work with a bunch of catty, gossiping women. I have no part of it. You guys know I always go to my car at lunch, and I still do. And the reason why I don't vlog on my lunch is because just where I am, you're able to see the buildings, like the names and stuff like that. So for security reason, you know, I don't vlog when I'm on my lunch um, anymore. That may change if I go work at the other office because the other office there's only two offices now so the other office is really close to this one anyway so when I got hired there because they didn't want anyone hired they didn't want no one new at all but Dr. Gray knew that they needed more help so they had so many interviews and I heard this from Dr. Gray himself because I had a conversation with Dr. Gray about what's going on at the office and whatever because I think it's not right it's not fair even have one assistant that goes as far as to tell the patients that when the two doctors retire don't come there because the other doctor isn't any good so yes I told I sang like a birdie I said I let dr. gray know everything that was going on in his practice he should know it right he owns it anyway they didn't want me there they didn't want me there at all. So that have, they had a bunch of interviews, a bunch of working interviews, and they said no, no, no to everyone. And Dr. Gray was just like, you know what, no, I'm picking the person since you guys can't come up with who you guys wanted. So Dr. Gray handpicked me himself. And out of all these people, whatever, so it's weird because even though there's so much going on in my job, you guys, there's so much tea that I wish I can tell you guys but I just can't right now. There's so much stuff that's going on that in spite of it, I'm still happy with where I am. 
it and I feel like it's just the peace of God that's helping me through it because I have been praying and the office manager that's there she is the worst let me tell you the worst manager I have ever worked under she's horrible she's horrible but because I I can't tell you guys everything because I am privy to some information privy is that did I use that right like when you know things that people don't know that you know or anyway so I know some things that they don't know that's coming and yeah it's it's actually good things and no one's getting fired or anything like that but I guarantee you when all these changes happen a lot of people are going to leave because they just are unhappy not every one of them feels this way they're not not all of them but some of them are just like horrible I don't engage in conversation I mean I'm polite to them I'm professional I do my job other than that we have nothing to say to each other we're not friends <laughs> so yeah I just wanted to give you guys an update on that in case you were wondering how my job is going but I cannot wait until these changes happen and it's not nothing bad it's just I know they're not gonna like it so all right everyone I'm back home and as you can see my hair is done and I use a different type of hair this time when I used to have my hair in braids and singles this is the type of hair that I use it is more fine so I like it but you guys know there's always something I find that I don't like about my hair like I don't like how this part is this time and I just don't like that but other than that I think it's pretty it it feels lighter and I just like it so yeah we'll see how long I keep this in <laughs> because y'all know me my face is shiny my head hurts you guys I should have taken some Tylenol before I got my hair done because it is braided underneath my hair is in braids and then the fake hair it's crocheted on there I think I explained that to you guys before but for those of you who don't know there you go my hair it's called crochet braids it is actually braided but yeah my head hurts so bad it's been three months since I had my hair done three months maybe almost four so yeah I'm gonna lay down and rest my head hurts you guys